giving some young people a chance of a lifetime. And News 8's Bob Wilson shows us how Disney is helping. Want to go to Disney World this summer, but you don't have the time or the money to get away? Well, Disney is coming here to Connecticut, sort of. Hartford Parks were awarded a $20,000 grant to help out 60 kids and give them a summer of their lifetime. There is no water in the pool at Pope Park or lifeguards on duty. The grass hasn't even been cut yet. It's still early. But summer is almost here, and Disney has teamed up with the National Parks to help kids unplug from their phones and video games and get them back outside. This is about getting them outside, enjoying the sun, enjoying the water, and doing some great skill building and teamwork and learning in the process. The 60 teenagers will be taken out on the water canoeing and rowing. The city will teach them life-saving skills so that they can become certified lifeguards. But big picture, the city is trying to expose as many people as they can to their park system. We're going to get the young person, get involved, then we're going to entice the parents to be a part of it as well. We're going to give them opportunities on the weekend to learn how to go boating, how to, how to uh, go hiking. With all the financial hardship and cutbacks, this grant means a lot to the city. This is the third year in a row that they have won, and they're making every dollar count. It's a really exciting opportunity. I mean, especially given the financial situation that we have, to be able to still bring these type of robust activities to our young people where they're usually not exposed to these type of activities, especially water activities. Now, there are some parameters. You have to be a resident of the city of Hartford. You must apply, and they're going to take the first 60 that apply. Usually get right in. You can go to WTNH.com. We'll connect you to that website, give you a phone number because you want to get in there and be one of the first ones in line. We're at Batterson Park, Bob Wilson, News 8.